Okay, so we are on our third video. My name is Thrust. Welcome to my channel. If you're new and if you're returning Stitchy, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> these are Hanks for Crystal over at Bagger Days. One million subscriber celebration, which if the trend continues, I expect her to hit tomorrow night, which for you guys will be tonight. Um, possibly Friday morning. Okay, so we've done lots of blues, greens. Uh, we've been doing browns. We are going to kind of do a combination of those before we pretty much walk away from the blues, greens, I believe. Um, this is a colorway I've never done before. A very dear friend of mine, Antoinette, unknowingly has um, inspired this look. She made a bag uh, from Cinnamon Stitches uh, uh, and used this beautiful yarn. Um, so this is inspired by that. I've wanted to put these colors together for a long time. I just haven't. Or have I? Honestly, I don't know. I may have already done this before. I don't think I have. Anyway, there's six colors in this. So we have to be very, 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 very careful. Um, because I want the colors to blend, but I also want them to stand out. And you see how much these colors spread. So I put a little bit of extra vinegar in there. And the vinegar is what helps the dye to strike to the yarn. I'm thinking perhaps I have too much water. Um, so we will see. Yeah, I probably have way too much water. So for this many colors, we kind of need to do a low immersion dyeing. And low immersion is exactly what it sounds like. You are immersing it in a lower amount of water. So we're going to remove some of this water. Because we do not want the color to travel uncontrollably so we'll start with that I probably removed like two cups okay so the first color we're actually just gonna play around I guess so let me find this is a new color to the lineup this is pistachio we played with it the other day where did my green go here we go um what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna kinda mix two colors because there is a specific green I'm kinda going for. And instead of, you know, swatching and making a solution, I'm just going rogue. Okay, for six colors, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have about two and a half inches to play with. So two inches to account for blending, okay. So, I'm going to take great care in what I'm doing. Now, this color of green is too bright. I don't want that. So, we're going to subdue it some. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take the pistachio... I need to put a glove on because we're just going to dry dye powder on top of it. So the fun of this is that this is definitely something that can't be perfectly recreated. So it's unique. I mean, I can recreate it pretty close, but... Alright. So we're going to take the pistachio. Dry dye powder, you should be wearing a half rubber mask in 95 or in 100. Just FYI. So we're going to drop it may not do anything at all because pistachio is a very um not pastel. It's not a very concentrated color. So it might not do much. I was curious what it would do. I mean, it kind of subdued it a little bit. 
Yeah, actually, no, that really did. Oh, cool. Yeah, that actually worked out nicely. I'm having to put quite a bit of powder um, because it's just not a strong color. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, so that actually subdued it nicely. That made it pretty darn close to what it is I'm wanting, actually. Oh, I do love it when that works out. Okay, so I'm just going to rinse my fingers off in the water. The water's not too, too hot. So I am fairly immune to that. Okay. Get my hands off. So pistachio is a... <clears throat> Spearmint green, the liquid I laid down first, is a very blue-based green. Pistachio is a very yellow-based green. So they're kind of neutralizing each other's undertone. And then it's just so taking down that bright pop a little bit. Yes, yes. Viva Papa. Okay. Blue. Okay. Now we are embracing... Anything can happen with this one, okay? We're going to do Delphinium Blue. Delphinium Blue from one of our last videos we know breaks into blue and purple. But like Twilight Gray, I wonder if it's only breaking with the dry dye powder and if the stock solution, it won't do that. This could come out very blue-purple, but that's okay because the next color is going to be purple. So I can just over-dye it with some blue. So it's not that big of a deal. What? Okay, yay. All right. So it is blue. This time I wanted it to be blue. I didn't want it to break. And this is the tone of blue I wanted. Um, I do not want Caribbean or Extreme Blue, which are the ones I typically use. All of these colors are very muted in this design and this color design. They're very muted colors. Um, so in keeping with that, this is perfect. Okay, yes. Okay, so we're gonna add just a line of the green. We had some of that blue come over, which is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now the purple that was in that bag was like, okay, so it wasn't like electric violet. The water in this delphinium blue is really hot. That's why it's coming out the way it is. Um, it's a very subdued purple, but it's not, I don't know how to explain this. So it's not subdued in the sense that it's pastel. It's just not electric violet. It's kind of like royal purple, but lighter. So what is a girl to do? Let me see what lilac looks like. I'm gonna do lilac first. I think lilac might work. Yes. Yep, I think lilac's going to be perfect. Okay. So we're going to mix that. Gizmo, you are just looking to get into trouble, sir. Hey. Giz. Leave Cat alone. You leave her alone, you meanie. Trying to keep in mind that we have three more colors. Now the next color scares me because it is a super spreader. Okay, actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so there's that. Um, Alright. Okay. So, I took our brown and I diluted it down because it isn't that rich of a brown. And I put it in this bottle that has a very small 
nozzle. Um, because I don't want this to spread. Now remember, our brown comes out really red at first, but it is most assuredly brown. Gizmo is just trying mama's patience. All right. Um, so the drawback to doing fine detail work like this in a stock pan and uh, or a catering pan and not doing it in a hand painting is it is really, really hard to control where the die goes because there's undercurrents and top currents. Um, what the water is doing on top is not what the water is doing underneath the yarn. There's a lot of movement underneath the yarn. It is also very difficult to line up the yarn once you flip it on the other side. So it makes it very complicated to trying to do uh, the same thing on the other side. But anything worth doing would it be easier? Everybody would do it or something like that. Okay, so that was a little more purple. Um, okay, so then the next color is Sand Dune. Um, where is it? Let's see. Okay. So. Sand Dune is that really uh, light colored brown, that gray undertone. So I can be pretty liberal with it and I'm going to pretty much go to the top with it. Because the next color is fawn, which will overtake it a little bit. So I want to ensure that we have a space where um, the sand dune is present. I'm really close to the phone, so I'm trying not to yell. Um, so I wish I would have been a little bit more careful with the purple, blue, green placement because it definitely is over half of it, which was not my intention. Okay. So there's that. Alright, and then fawn. We're going to pull back, back. Oh, I'm having a lot of back pain. Okay. Guys, I am having so much fun doing this. Getting to just sit here and create. This is so much fun. I've needed this fun, I've needed this little bit of, you know, kind of relaxation and the ability to just create. I, I realize that a lot of these colorways are repetitive, you know, they're repeats of things I've done before, um, or they look very similar to things, but I'm still having a lot of fun creating the ones that are new and I love revisiting old colorways um and like this one sure I've done green blue purple but I haven't ever done these I haven't done these together okay so that's this one okay so we're gonna completely completely shift gears um okay 
So we have a little bit of color transfer up here because my spoon dropped into my yarn and it had a little bit of green on it. This is totally preventable, mind you. That's it. That's completely preventable. And yeah, so, um, all right, let me shake this up. <clears throat> Used to, I did one spoon for each pan so that that wouldn't happen. Um, or I have a, a little thing where I rinse my spoon off and that is what I suggest you do if you are dying yarn. Don't be like me. Okay. So, this is... Mm, this is a more watered down deep magenta, but we're going to put a lot in there. I didn't want to make up dye stock solutions. Like, I could have done another deep magenta and made it darker. But I already have this one and another one, so instead of making a new one to have it deep like I want it, I'm just going to double or triple down with the dye that I have to make it darker. It's about using what you got. Okay. Because I want this very deep, deep pink. And you will see why. So we're going to put a good amount over there. We want it nice nice and deep. Now again, we are not going to feather out from the center. We are going to feather out from the end. Or we're not going to feather out from the back or the center. We're going to feather out from the end because we want the deep shades to stay there. And this is going to be where we blend the next color. And what a beautiful color these two make. And I have lots of this, so I can always go in with as much as I want. All right, so that's what this bottle's almost tapped out. Then we'll grab the other one. Okay, so this is a 1% stock solution of words. Um, fluorescent safety orange. So I'm going to put just, whew. so fluorescent, any fluorescent travels like crazy, but fluorescent orange is particularly guilty of it. Um, we're just going to put it in the pink part for right now. This is mixed with warm water still. I don't suggest that if you are making sock solutions, I always do hot water like like an inch of hot water just to mix the dye in but then once I have that mixed really well then I do the rest of it cold um, because it the pressure from the hot water likes to shoot the dye across your pan so then you're gonna get it in the other colors that you don't want it if you have another pan you're liable to get it in that pan which I've been known to do a few times um, so like right now there's a lot more orange up in that pink over on this end that I'm working at than I would like. And I know better. But it's not the end all to be all. It'll still be pretty. Okay. So, before I add any more center color is going to be fluorescent lemon. Now, well, um, we're not going to have the like super in your face yellow. And that is what I was keeping. That's what I was uh, hoping for. Normally with this, I would want that super in your face uh, yellow, which I've always done, um, but I let that orange creep in really far because I didn't want that. I wanted this yellow to be a little bit deeper of a yellow. Um, and now I'm going to leave it alone because if I fuss with it too much more, 
we will lose that bit of yellow and I don't want that. It's a very, very pretty colorway. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I am gonna put it up here though. I'm just staying away from the yellow. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love where that pink and orange meet. It's so just gorgeous gorgeous okay so that is what we've got Bloop. all right leave it alone okay no more blooping isn't that pretty i do like that a lot so you know i've done this before but i always do it in the like fluorescent where I'm doing half percent stock solutions so that it's just like super 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 bright I wanted this darker um, so that's what we've got there we go I'm gonna bring a little bit more of that orange in there there we go okay very pretty I wonder what this looks like on camera oh that's very pretty on camera too Sometimes it doesn't always turn out on camera like you're hoping for it to, but there we are. Okay, so we're going to keep kind of shifting direction here. And of course we have to have rainbow. We can't not have rainbow. I'm me. This is full spectrum. We must so we are going to do a regular rainbow that I do. I don't do um, red, uh, red, blue primary rainbow. I do um, fuchsia cyan rainbow. Um, so this is a fluorescent rainbow, sort of. Not all of them are going to be fluorescents, but some of them are. So that is Gizmo with his bone. Um, so we're doing two rainbows. We're going to do one regular and then we're going to do one with a twist. Um, okay, so we are going to start out with, normally I would use fluorescent fuchsia, but again, I have that deep magenta. So, you know, I really have to learn to rinse my spoons. Um, okay. But we are going to use that deep magenta, and I have watered it down. Um, and they're pretty darn close to the same thing. So we have six colors. Okay, we're going to do hopefully better this time at um, spacing things out. Depending on how this one turns out, because some of these colors are not my typical colors that I use for the rainbow, we may do the other one different. I may do a pastel rainbow. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just we'll figure it out. Okay. So there's that. So pink. Um, this is safety orange, fluorescent safety orange. Gosh, that color, man. See, fluorescent safety orange is the absolute worst spreader. It just jumped right up into the pink. Gosh. Um, that's okay, though. We will bring up some more pink. Well, I don't know, we may just leave it alone. Because I don't want to make it super dark. Okay. It's not that hot. This may work. Sometimes this works. Sometimes this does not work. When I've laid color down that I didn't want, sometimes I can wick it away. Yeah, that works pretty well, actually. Okay, awesome. Okay. 
those two colors together make a really pretty like coral color. I do the right one. There's pink. Are you pink? Yes, you are. Okay, so we'll put some more pink here. Bring that pink back in. Okay, I don't want to make it too, too dark. Okay. So then if I go to yellow here. Okay, so with the yellow. I always do a big swatch of yellow because it always gets eaten up. So if it mixes into the orange, no big deal. If it mixes into the next color green, no big deal. It just makes a variation of those colors. But in order to get a good area of yellow, I always do it really big. the other colors always get represented so we will touch up that orange actually we'll touch it up right now because we can go a little further down with it just want to make sure it doesn't go up into that pink Dang, I'm really sad we lost all that pink. <sighs> this is why they call me the fiddler. If you guys have been around here for a little bit, you know, that's my alter ego. There's a reason for it. I can't just leave it alone. Okay. Kiss, kiss! Kiss him! trust you sir good reason okay green here it is okay I have a green that I watered down it is the same green we've been using the sea or uh, not sea spray the spearmint breeze I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow Set it down there. Oh, here it is. We're gonna go and see. I actually think I went too big because we have to have purple at that end. <laughs> Guys, normally I have really good spatial awareness, but sometimes it's really hard. Um, I don't have depth perception, and so sometimes. Sometimes this is hard for me. Um, and I don't see but a few inches in front of me, so down there is a mystery to me. It's far away. Here's where I'm worried. I have to put in the Caribbean blue, and it's another super spreader. And somehow we have to make sure we have purple over there. So, hmm, we're going to put the purple first. This is Electric Valet. So we're going to scoot that forward, put that over there. Oh no! Oh, I hate it when that happens. Paper towels, quick! Gosh. Come on, erase it. It's like my magic eraser. Well, it's pretty hot now, so it it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's just a little just a little splotch. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's not bad at all. Okay. No big deal. I do hate it when that happens. Honestly, what I should do from now on is I should when doing rainbow or doing colorways that have like six colors like this where I have to be very very meticulous about color placement I should do it in those little bottles with the teeny tiny nozzles okay 
And then we're going to go right in the middle, Caribbean. But this is the easy part. It's when we turn it over and try to match the other side that this is difficult because they're such small areas of color. some of the yellow. Um, unfortunately, this big spot of yellow is on my hink, not crystals. It has a pretty small area. And this is the side that more easily gets the yellow. The other side won't get the yellow as easily. Um, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, but Some more purple, and then we're gonna leave it alone. Okay. And then I'm going to do that on the other side. Um, normally, I would switch the pans so that you guys can watch me lay the color, but uh, these are really heavy and hot, and I cannot lift another one. I've been lifting them all day, every day for days now. And I'm going to skip out on this time, so I do apologize, but. Um, you guys can kind of see it this way, so we'll just, we'll go ahead and try it this way. Okay, so we are going to do the pink. You know, okay. Hmm, thinking in real time. Do I do a rainbow and then the rainbow with the twist or do I attempt a pastel rainbow? You know what? Let's attempt a pastel rainbow. Pastels are not my forte. I'm not good at pastels. I'm still learning how to do them. Um, full saturation to me is easy. Pastels are very hard because well, partly because I always want to add more color. So partly I'm the reason why they're hard. But they're also hard. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just a me thing. Um, yeah, it's probably, it's probably just a me thing. Okay, so I'm being really, really careful. We're going to do a rainbow. A pastel rainbow. By golly. So the twist I was going to do, since I'm not going to do it now, was put black on the rainbow. But it, I think this is more challenging. I think this is fun. Okay, here comes the hard part. The hardest of all the colors. Orange. Okay, we're literally going to do a few drops at a time. I'm going to be so careful. Just a slight bit of color that, ooh, that orange likes to be a pain in the booty. So I'm going to let it set for a second before touching it. Maybe that's the move. 
Yeah, I think that's the move. We'll have to go back and add more pink. And if this one ends up turning out to be really dark, like the other one, because I just can't help myself, then we'll do the um, rainbow with a twist. Okay, I think that's, it's kind of awkward over here. I have this uh, refrigerator thing that has spices on it. gets in the way of the spoon. Okay, now we're going to go big yellow. But this time we won't do as big. adjusting. I'm really unhappy with the pink area, but I can't mess with it too much. Okay, we'll leave it alone with the rest. Stop touching it. All right. Oh, my back. All right, so we're going to go in with sake. <laughs> Despite my best efforts, Die is going to do what Die is going to do. Oops. So maybe this won't be like a true pastel, but it'll be my version of a pastel because I like very deep, dark jewel tones and I'm not great at doing pastels. If it's not deep, dark jewel tones, it's pastel to me. If I'm not caught and you don't know about it, you're not ready. Okay. Do what say, handsome boy. Gizzy, gizzy. Gizzy, gizzy, good boy. Okay. And you know what? We're going to go with lilac. actual pastel purple although I'm getting nervous that kind of looks darker than the okay it's not oh, okay I got scared for a second <laughs> it was looking darker than the electric violet okay mm. Oh, 
Oh no, did you find a what? You're okay. Good boy. Yeah, you're okay. You weren't in trouble. Here. Wait. Hold on, let me get the paper off of it. Sorry for those who don't like loud noises. It's the most favorite thing in the world. Are you ready? Go get it. Our empty water bottles. I'm immune to the noise, so I am sorry if it's too loud for some of you. Oh, you got it. You killed it. Good job, Gizmo. It's a dead bottle. other one. Oh boy. I think when it's all said and done it won't but if it does like I said it's not a big deal then we'll just turn around and we'll do the um rainbow with a twist. So. <laughs> oh, I can't help myself. Well this one wasn't very dark to begin with so that's part of it. All right we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who have been asking for a ASMR of dying, where I just do what I do without talking, I'm going to give that to you now. Um, as soon as I decide if I can flip these or not. Honestly, this one isn't much lighter. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, it looks like we'll probably do rainbow with a twist. Okay, so here we go. I can't promise Gizmo will be quiet.
There we are. This is the other side of it. I don't know. I do think this side is lighter for sure. Um, I don't know if it's reading on camera lighter, but in real life it is lighter. Not by a lot, but I'm going to wait for the dye to take. And then we'll come back and we may take one of those little bottles out and we may do some black over this darker rainbow. Um, we won't do it like we did Dark Side of the Moon. We'll do it a different way. We'll just do, I don't know, draw with it or something. I have no idea. We'll see. Okay, so I was thinking of, all right, we are definitely going to do rainbow with a twist on this one. And that green traveled up and down. Um, I could go through and I could just, I'm not going to do it like dark side of the moon because um, it, it just won't look good. I could take this and I could just, you know, do stripes across it. That would be the smart thing. The smart thing would be to do stripes across it. I'm taking a chance here. This might be a really stupid idea. Um, maybe I should try it on my hink first. I don't know. No, we'll just go with it. When I do my painting, <clears throat> I paint or write a word on the canvas first before I paint over it. And this has a really fine tip, so I was thinking I might be able to write a word out with this. I don't know. It's a really awkward angle. I have to come at it like this. Oh, that might be a really stupid idea. Okay. I go over it <laughs> we wrote a word we wrote faith I know you kind of can't see it now because it's starting to bleed 
we'll go over it with some lines and make it more even and everything like that. But we did Faith. And we're going to do... Hmm. The love with the heart. <laughs> uh, I should write courage because I'm not gonna lie, it took a lot of courage to do that. That was really scary. Um. I hope you guys like that. So, I am going to just kind of go through now. And just sort of speckle on some black and leave it alone. We are not blending. We are not doing anything. Um, the water is really low. So, this won't spread. We're going to lift this up just a little bit, but all of you who watch this, which won't be the majority of people that are at the celebration, you'll know an inside thing that everybody else won't know. Um, I'm very curious how this will look kinked up. Not going to lie, this was a little scary. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are going to be asking why did you do that? You just ruined it. But I think rainbow and black is really cool together. In reality, when this gets worked up, it will be teeny tiny little dots. Once it sets, I am going to flip it over and I am going to do it to the other side. But we're going to leave the other rainbow completely alone. Um, here's the thing. It's just yarn. You know? In the end, it's just yarn. So, it's no big deal. Um, if it doesn't look great, then it doesn't look great. So, I definitely want to make sure it sets, though. I'm pretty sure it has already because it was just the surface level amount. Because the last thing I want... <coughs> <clears throat> is to flip it over and then that black spread everywhere. Come on now. Stay up there. Okay. So like for instance, look, it's just, yeah, it's just surface level. Um... A snoring you may hear is Gizmo in the background. My little shadow. Okay, this one's done. But yeah. Let me know below. Was that was that stupid? I think it's cool. I think it's a like rainbow graffiti kind of thing. I personally like it. I think it's neat. And um there is love and faith in here, you know, be all corny and mushy and crap, but there's literally love and faith in it. And we're going to flip it over and we're going to put something else in it. We'll be back for that. My camera overheated and wasn't recording the other side. I'm so sorry.